There can be no better example of the apathy that plagues us than this. In less than two weeks, a new batch of trainee pilots will reach the Air Force Academy. But the IAF doesn't have any airworthy aircraft to train them. In a shocking indictment of the state of our military preparedness, Headlines today has learned that the entire HP-232 fleet has been grounded for the last two weeks. In fact, pilots are reluctant to fly these Stage 1 trainers, now dubbed the new flying coffins. Danish Siddiqui brings you this Headlines Today exclusive. No primary trainer aircraft in the IAF. Trainers grounded after series of crashes. 140 cadets to reach IAF Academy in two weeks. IAF refuses to fly the HPT-32, the real flying coffin. An Indian Air Force HPT-32 Stage 1 trainer crashed at Nidhak, killing both the pilot's squadron leader Nitin Jain and wing commander Chaturvedi. In May last year, a woman cadet of the Air Force Academy was killed in a similar crash. The Hindustan Aeronautics built trainer first flew way back in 1977. Air Force sources say that they have reported more than 100 engine failures in recent months and now the entire fleet has been grounded. The bigger issue, the next batch of trainee pilots will reach the Air Force Academy in Hyderabad in less than two weeks and there will be no aircraft to train them with. There's the American Air Force, the British Royal Air Force, French Air Force, any of the modern European Air Force, or for that matter Russia and China, they all go through a four-stage career pattern, pattern on flying training, which involves a basic trainer, which is a non-jet trainer. What's worse, pilots including instructors are under tremendous pressure from their families not to fly these aircraft. In the Air Force circles, the HPT-32 is the real flying coffin. And the Air Force is now being forced to make do with great danger to its pilots. The Air Force has no choice but to push pilots directly onto Stage 2 trainers, the Kiran Mark II aircraft. This is not only risky but a total violation of training procedures. Trainee pilots lose out on 50 hours of Stage 1 training of basic flying and aptitude skills imparted on the HPT-32. Last year, even the CAG said that the IAF is facing an acute shortage of efficient pilots and blamed faulty training. The vacuum created by the ground trainer aircraft poses a great threat. The possibility that every hour the new pilots spend in the air, they are literally being forced to throw caution to the wind. The government owes it to these fighting men that it gets its act together fast. Dhanesh Siddiqui in New Delhi for Headlines Today.